I'm hoping for there to be a lot of uh, fall reviews coming soon. So it'll be like, uh, I think what I'll do is every Tuesday and Friday from when I when I wake up to when a party is started on PlayStation, I'll just watch movies. And I was able to watch a lot of tape today because there hasn't been a party started today yet. Anyway, Miami Medical. That's just great. Got my tablet. <clears throat> As I was saying, Miami Medical makes ratings. So you guys original series. Lana Perilla. I think Elizabeth Farnoy is in CSI, I'm not too sure. Omar Gooding kind of looks like Cuba Gooding Jr. I'm going to assume that it's his brother or something. Yeah. <clears throat> Chanel Hampton. Louise Lombard, I'm pretty sure, is also in CSI. Marcia Monroe. Hey, the big fucking cast here for a show that only lasted 13 episodes. Hey, Betsy Brunt. Andre Bry, her, 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 her name. W. Earl Brown. Robin Wigert. It's good. Um, although there are a couple things that don't make sense. Like, first episode, like very first scene, uh, this couple go to get ice cream, like the park right outside an ice cream shop, and a, the shop blows up, and the car spins for a bit. Now, I don't know how realistic that is. It's spinning. I'm going to assume that the handbrake was down. Um, but then after it happened, I was like, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And they hug it out as if it was something not as serious or traumatic as an explosion literally right next to him, especially since the woman is pregnant. Oh, and somehow the baby survived. Because after that, there's like multiple cars uh, hitting them and she's all bloody and shit. Somehow the baby survived. I don't know how. And, and I don't know if that's... I mean, it could be possible, but... I would say it's most likely... Not what would happen. Uh, also... The... Like, my... Copy. I, I don't have a UV or anything, but, you know... The way I watched it was a bit glitchy. Scenes would repeat themselves and other scenes would... Cut... I don't know how long the cut is. It could be a couple seconds. could be a minute. I don't know. And the final thing I have to say about it is... It looks fucking beautiful. Like, my God. Like, I don't know if they put filters or something on, but... Just Jesus. It, it does look amazing. It's probably one of the best looking shows I've ever seen. Like, I've been, I would, I've been in Miami. Although, only at an airport. I don't think i actually seen Miami itself. But I've been to Florida. Like, I've spent, like, four months. Or not months, four weeks in Florida. And it's beautiful. But, I mean, the show makes it look even better. Oh. Demolition Man. Mixed ratings. I watched it on TCM movies. Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, Sandra Bullock. Benjamin Bratt, I know, is in Poker Face, but I don't know who he plays. Pretty sure Bob Gunton is in. Oh, he, he's that guy. Like, works for Allison Taylor in 24. Anyway, Dennis Leary. Jack Black, apparently. Hmm.
Laura um, looks familiar, don't know. It's, <clears throat> it's an okay film, but, you know, it's just a cheesy action film from the 90s. Despite that, it got a lot of things about the future right. And it, it's making fun of a lot of those things. So, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it's based because of that, and don't don't just take my word for it. Nineteen ninety three's Demolition Man is set in a utopian future that's basically modeled off of Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, and since that future is only about ten years away, according. In fact, I actually named. I don't know if it's intentional, but Sandra Bullock's character, her last name is Huxley. So I, I like that detail. ...to the film, I wanted to know whether or not its predictions are on track. So here's everything Demolition Man got right about the 21st century so far. Gullwing doors on self-driving electric cars. People using computers to boost their self-esteem. Dumbed down language. Zoom meetings. Arnold Schwarzenegger becoming a politician. Short attention spans and mini tunes, nostalgia driven content, vertical video, portable phones that can access the internet, voice activated search, tablets and digital currency, pretentious food, stupid food regulations, anti smoking laws, and gun control, language police, and germophobic insanity. That's a pretty good track record, don't you think? Who think I actually thanked Sean for when I played his video or his mate's video? during the Knives Out 2 review. Thank you. And um, thank you for that today. Anyway. Rambo 4. Mixed ratings. I watched it on Dave. I don't know why Dave is playing it, but they did. Sylvester Stallone, Julie Benz, Graham McTavish. Tim Kang. Sam Elliott. It's good. Uh, I started watching this when, like, just after I finished Rambo 3. So if you look back on my channel, see when the Rambo 3 review was. That's when I started watching this. And I got, like, 50 minutes into it before I... I think I just wanted to watch something else, or... I just wasn't on TV as much and just completely forgot about it. I don't know. Anyway. It's... I don't know, right, I know that there's something definitely extremely unrealistic about it, that scene where a Claymore detonates, and, I mean, my only knowledge of Claymores come from Call of Duty, but I don't think, I, I don't think the way that Claymores work in real life is anything like the way it works in the film, because it's like, it goes off, and massive explosion and fucking ash like a fucking cloud of ash everywhere like a nuke went off doesn't seem realistic to me but I don't know something that might not be realistic I'm not sure that I did like is the violence <laughs> like holy shit like you've you've heads exploding and Limbs being torn off because of bullets and shit like that. It's, it's amazing. The Enforcer mixed ratings. I watched it on TCM movies. Clint Eastwood, Time Daily. Probably the only thing I recognize. In fact, I only recognize Time Daily from this. Los Spano? Excuse my stomach. It's good, but it felt very short. How long is it even all for? Hmm. Final review, Sarah, for the end. I actually finished, finished the show a while back, like July, possibly. 
I think it was like the week before Man on Holiday. Because I remember watching Great Pretender while I was there. And I know that I started that show just after I finished there for the end. Anyway, I didn't, I, I held off the, the FR till now because there, according to my tracker, there were a couple of bonus episodes or something. They have two different types. They have Seraph of the Endless, which is just kind of comedy shorts. Like one of them was a scene from episode two where, uh, hold on. Nah, that, that's not going to help. Uh, oops. The girl with the pink hair. Or whatever colour that is. Is pointing at or poking. Guy with the green eyes here. Going, uh, you know. I, I'm not actually a student. I'm I'm, I'm watching you. They, they took that scene and they, they changed it. So it's like. You know, she shows up like a thing, piece of paper saying, Look at that, like they say, the blackboard. And the blackboard says, Look up, piece of paper on the ceiling says, You're an idiot. Stuff like that. And then there's the, uh. Nagoya arc. I couldn't find that anywhere. Oh, and there's also. I think this, yeah. Vampire Shahal, which I watched on YouTube. Uh, overall, it's a good show. It's kind of like AOT, but with vampires instead of titans. At least that's the way I saw it. Anyway. So, upcoming things. There will be a movie coming out on Friday, I think. If, well, today's what, the 19th? Yeah. So Wednesday's 20th, Thursday 21st, Friday 20th. Okay, yeah, movie coming out on Friday. So, should be a cinema review on Friday. Another movie prob possibly coming out at the end of the month. I thought this movie was coming out. I thought this movie was already out. I thought it came out in, like, spring. But apparently not. Maybe it was just released in America. And they wait until now to release it here for some reason. I don't know. <coughs> and then there's a bunch of other stuff coming out after September. As for shows. I have finished Secret Invasion. I'm not going to do an FR for it. Because yes, technically it is supposed to be a mini series. Because the difference between this and something... Else it was hit at like She Hulk is that it was a adaption of a specific event, but I mean you, you never know with Disney. Because I mean you know there are rumors about season two of She Hulk coming. There were rumors about season two of Moon Knight, rumors about season two of Miss Marvel. And the very first MCU show to get a season two was I Am Groot, which I don't think anyone actually hated it, but that's only really because I don't know anyone else that's seen it other than me. Um, I just need to take a drink quickly. So no final review for that. Uh, as for stuff that I'm watching as they are, I've got uh, Ahsoka and Only Murders in the Building they end at the start of October and then Loki will start immediately after that. I'll be doing that as it airs. I think there might be something else coming around the same time they'll be watching as it airs. I don't remember though. Uh, as for games. Uh... One game releases in 15 days, another releases in like 30. Um, I think that might be it. Comic review coming hopefully soon. 
Uh, I'm on like page 30 of the book that I'm currently reading out of 300 something. So it'll be a while for that because I'm reading it like five pages a day. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end it now because if I, there might be more things, but I don't want to spend more time on this video than I can, than I have to, you know.